seeing a lot of these style of posts lately where a lot of people are frustrated with the vibe coding tools that they're using. They can't seem to go far. The one thing I've realized that I'm 100% confident is that the tools and frameworks you use will 100% determine how far you will go. And in my personal opinion, I definitely think convex is the best when vibe coding. And here's the reason why. First, you get end to end type safety, meaning the LLM is able to know what your structure of data looks like and how you're to call that on the front end or end to end type safe. We have a simple mental model with convex. It's queries, mutations, and actions. Very simple and easy to understand. And the third and most important thing is there's no impendence mismatch, meaning normally you have to worry about your database schema, and then you have to write up an API layer, and then you have to set up some client state management. And in the world of React, it looks like you know having a SQL or NoSQL database, and then having some sort of REST or GraphQL backend, and then using React Query or Redux to have your state management. Convex completely collapses that into one unified model. So when you're using Convex with an AI model, it's almost forced to write clean and maintainable code because of how Convex is built. And I don't want this video to just be all talk, but we're gonna use Claude code and one of the Convex templates, and we're going to build a Twitter clone, just vibe coding. I'm not going to write any code. I'm not going to interfere. I'm going to show you how amazing tools like Claude code are when you pair them up with Convex. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be running the npm create convex at latest command. This is just basically going to scaffold a convex template for me. We're gonna call this Twitter clone. We're going to use Next.js app router. I'll use convex auth, although you can use this with Clerk or Work OS. And one thing that's awesome about the convex templates is we will add a cursor rules for you if you're using cursor, and that's just going to make your experience developing your application with convex better. So my project is set up. I'm just gonna run npm install to install all the packages. We're good to go. Then I'm going to do npm run dev. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to set up my convex account. So I'm just going to create a new project under Ross Mike. We'll call this Twitter clone. I'm going to use the cloud deployment. And what's cool about using the convex templates is it sets up everything for you. You could still set this up yourself and our docs are very well written. So you can literally go to our docs, pick your framework or choice and set it up yourself. I just like to use the template for ease of use. All right. So our project is running. If I go localhost 3000, I'll see here that I can sign up. So I'm just going to sign up with my personal email and then enter a password. I'll sign up, save password. Now, if I go back to my convex dashboard and I click on data, I see a new account and I also see a new user. So my auth works off out the bat. We have this simple demo showing you how reactive everything is with convex. I click add number and it changes automatically I see the result automatically so that being said we're here to vibe code so what I'm going to do is I have a separate terminal terminal I'm going to type in the command Claude and I'm going to hit yes and then I'm going to move this to the side right here we're not going to be using cursor I want to use Claude code and now we're going to build our Twitter clone so my first prompt is going to be please build a monochromatic monospace landing page we'll be building a Twitter clone so usually when I'm vibe coding I want to build a quick MVP and just to see the vision I'll start with design right away just so that the model can refer that design and continue to build other components other pages right I find that if you've built your app and you've gone quite the distance and now you're trying to implement design changes it sometimes gets confused so I usually start off with design changes so that's what we're doing we're gonna go for a monospace monochromatic style app uh, just a side note tom fool ring is hilarious <laughs> all right so it's done let's view our wow all right so design is 10 out of 10 so far so our login and signing sign up page don't work if i click learn, learn more and get started nothing happens all right so super cool so what i just said is let's work on the sign up and login pages now make them functional and match the design all right so it's done let's check it out i see okay log out dashboard the email I signed up with. If I click enter dashboard, I just see some random stuff here. This is cool, but we want it to be Twitter S. So now I prompted, this is great. Now let's work on the actual Twitter clone. So I want the slash dashboard route to be exactly like Twitter with the exact sizing and sidebar. So going to let, now we're going to get into the functionality side of things. And this is where Convex starts to shine. You're going to see how quickly we're going to knock out these features with just one or two prompts. All right, so it says it's done Twitter accurate layout made some user menu for you following tags. Okay, let's go. So if I click enter dashboard, woo. Okay, this is off initial prompt. This is great. Obviously, um, everything is pretty static. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on the profile page first. Let's work on the profile tab first. 
please make it exactly like Twitter and let's build out all the necessary features. So we're going to start with the profile tab first because profile tab, we have to be able to upload our images, edit our bio. It's a place where we see all our tweets. And this is where Convex is going to start to shine because we're going to need some queries, some mutations. And we're also going to set up storage because Convex does handle file uploading as well. All right, so the profile section is done and we can see it here. I can see my posts, replies, media likes. I don't think any of this is functional yet, meaning if I change my name right now, and I click save, if I refresh, yeah, it's not saved. So what we're going to do is for when a user edits their profile, the info should be stored in my convex DB and persist. Let's make the profile section real and functional using convex. And you're going to watch Claude code in just one prompt handle all this stuff for us. I noticed one thing. I noticed that Claude created a profile.ts file and wrote three functions, four functions, sorry, two queries and two mutations. And we're going to see if this solves what we asked for. So I want to be able to change my name. My name is Michael Shimalis. Save that. And if I refresh, it's persisted. And I want to be able to change my username. It doesn't let me. I'll, I'll make sure it does that. I'll say I work at convex location is toronto and my site is rossmike.xyz if i click save all that is saved and if i refresh it persists and notice the even the join date is up to date because it is september so this all works fine i want to be able to edit my tag though so let's say i want to edit my user tag right now it's just something random but i also want to make sure usernames tags are unique so it has to check if it already exists probably a terrible prompt but claude will figure this out essentially what i want is i want to make sure that i should be able to edit my username and it should be unique meaning like if, our, if somebody else already has it then it should tell me can't set this as my username okay it's done let's check i want to change my username to Michael Shamalis, and that is persistent. I love that. 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 All right. So next I want to work on image uploading. So let's say I want to upload my profile and banner image using convex. Let's make it happen. So our profile is slowly coming together. Now what we just need to work on is our image uploading. And then after that, we're going to work on posting tweets. Right, being able to tweet, like, retweet, and all that stuff. Because once we're done with that, everything else is much more si simple, right? Um, you're going to see how easy it is for us to knock out all these features and how quickly we'll be able to deploy this to production. All right, so it's finished. I noticed that there's an images.ts now that's handling my image uploading. So if I click edit profile, or I actually, I don't even have to, I can click on, no, I do. I click on edit profile, I click on add. And then let's see if I have an image here. Um, we'll add this image over here and then we'll add a cover as well. We'll add this image over here and we'll click save. And then if I refresh, look how quick and easy that was. I didn't write a single line of code, but the LLM plus convex, it's just able to cook this so easily and quickly. So now let's make uh, tweeting work, right? So that works. Let's make posting tweets work. So simple prompt, but because again, convex is built with end to end type safety, a simple mental model, I don't have to worry about my database schema, API learning, client state management, meaning I don't have to bring built different building blocks and put it together myself. And now the LLM has to search what how this works, how that works and try to make it work all together. I have one unified model and I use convex. And that's why convex in my humble opinion, is the ultimate back end for your web and mobile applications. All right, so let's test out tweeting. When I click on the tweet button, nothing happens. Let's see if the homepage one works. If I type yo and I click tweet, oh, I see it here. Can I like, retweet, comment? Okay, none of the other stuff works, but posting works. So what I'm going to do is tweeting works, but I want to be able to tweet 
when I click on the tweet button on the sidebar. So I want to make sure clicking here also works. It right now does nothing. If I go back to profile, but I do see my tweets on profile and that is fantastic. So we click on tweet, we see the modal. Welcome to Twitter, we'll call it Twitter, and it works. So now let's make liking, retweeting, uh, responding, and bookmarking, marking tweets work. Now, for the sake of this video not being too long, I'm going to speed run through a lot of these features. You get the point, though. Feature by feature, you're prompting. Convex is a great backend, so it can easily build out that feature. It can easily persist the data. It can easily query, mutate the data. Whatever you want it to do, it can easily do it with Convex. 20 minutes later. So I crushed through a bunch of features, and this is what we have. I've actually deployed it. The link is in the description below. I'll also have the GitHub URL down linked below. So... This is the home page. I can click to go to your feed. I posted this on my X so a bunch of people can sign up. I can click on profile. I see that I'm following 46 people. I have 14 followers. I can go on my home and you see I've retweeted a couple of tweets. I can, let's say, let's say I want to bookmark this. I click that right over there. Go to bookmarks. I see my bookmark tweets. I can also see there are a couple of people who've DM'd me. Some people start a conversation but haven't DM'd. I DM'd someone left me on red. That's quite sad. And then here are the tweets of the people I follow. I essentially followed everyone who joined. And then let's see if I wanted to post a tweet. I'll quick post. Welcome to the new Twitter. And you can see that like there's a 240 character limit. And if I do post something that's long like this gentleman over here, I click see more and I can see it, see less, and we're back. You also do get notifications from when people follow you or like your tweet or retweet your tweet. And again, all this was built in like 20, 30 minutes. You can see I got quite a lot done using Cloud Code, Next.js, and Convex. And if I go to the code and maybe I can zoom in a little closer so you can see, I'll close my Cloud Code tab. And if I go to the Convex folder, you'll see I have a messages.ts file, notifications, posts, profiles. Uh, we have a files.ts and auth.ts. If I go to, let's say, posts, you can see my functions here are the bookmark posts and unbookmark posts, um, get users bookmarks, search posts. I can search for people's posts. I can delete my own posts. This one gets liked posts. You can see that because all of this is TypeScript, it's easy for the LLM to generate convex code. It's easy for the LLM to build all these features. And I would say all in all, this took me anywhere between 30 to 40 minute that's pretty much it for this video if you want to check out the repo the link will be down in the description if you want to check out the project the link will be down in the description if you want to vibe code apps uh using cloud code highly suggest taking a popular framework like next.js or you can use something like react router v7 pair that with convex it's going to be so it's going to be such a seamless experience for you to build apps like this have fun links in the description i'll see you in the next one peace